When you think of the great Doug Gilmore, you don't think that his relatively small size nearly kept him from playing the game that made him famous. Born in 1963 in Kingston, Ontario, Doug Gilmore started playing junior hockey for the Cornwall Royals of the Ontario Hockey League when he was just 17. He spent three seasons with the team, helping them win the Memorial Cup Championship in 1980. Doug was drafted by the St. Louis Blues in the 1982 entry draft, but he didn't make the team for the 1982-83 season. He returned to Cornwall, where he won the Eddie Powers Memorial Trophy as the leading scorer in the OHL and was named OHL MVP. Gilmore had difficulty reaching a contract with the Blues, who were concerned that he was undersized for the National Hockey League. Finally, two weeks before the 1983-84 season started, Gilmore and the Blues agreed on a contract. Gilmore played in the fourth line center slot for the Blues and he got the nickname Killer because of his intensity on the ice. After five solid seasons with the Blues, Gilmore was traded to the Calgary Flames. With Calgary, Doug went on to win the 1989 Stanley Cup, netting the championship winning goal against the Montreal Canadiens. In 1992, Gilmore was acquired by the Toronto Maple Leafs and began playing some of his best hockey. He was a pesky defensive forward who seemed fearless in his checking. Offensively, he was the focal point of an improving team. He went on to have a breakout season in 92-93, becoming the runner-up for the Hart Trophy as regular season MVP, and also winning the Selkie Trophy as the best defensive forward. In the 1994 offseason, Gilmore was rightfully made team captain. Throughout his six years as a Leaf, Doug Gilmore was one of the most popular players in the league and a fan and media favorite. It was during this time that Doug and his family made Etobicoke their home. Traded to the New Jersey Devils in 1997, Doug then signed as a free agent with the Chicago Blackhawks and played with them against the Leafs in the last game held at Maple Leaf Gardens. He was given a standing ovation by Toronto fans. Doug Gilmore was subsequently traded to the Buffalo Sabres in 2000 and then signed as a free agent with the Montreal Canadiens in 2001. In 2003, he was traded to Toronto but suffered a knee injury in his first game back. Disappointingly, he never played again. During his post-playing career, Doug Gilmore has acted as the Leafs player development advisor, as assistant coach for the Toronto Marlies, and now is the head coach with the Kingston Frontenacs of the OHL. In January 2009, Doug Gilmore's number 93 was honored by the Toronto Maple Leafs. 2009 Etobicoke Sports Hall of Fame inductee, Doug Gilmore.